हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द ओल क्वेश्चन ऑफ आई मेट मैथ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सीरीज एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी वन इन दिस क्वेश्चन सोल्व दिस एक्सप्रेशन एंड दिज आर फाइव ऑप्शन नाउ कम टू एक्सप्लेनेशन इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव गिवन दैट नाइन इंटू टेन रिज टू पावर फोर पावर टू माइनस टेन रिज टू पावर एट प्लस वन पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन रिज टू पावर इलेवन अपॉन टेन रिज टू पावर माइनस वन माइनस नाइन पॉइंट एट इंटू टेन रिज टू पावर माइनस टू वोल पावर वन अपॉन थ्री इन दिस क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली वी सोल्व ईस टर्म वन बाई वन फर्स्टली सोल्व दिस टर्म नाइन इंटू टेन रिज टू पावर फोर इन स्क्वेयर दिस मीन्स एट्टी वन इंटू टेन रिज टू पावर एट माइनस टेन रिज टू पावर एट एज इट इज एंड वन पॉइंट टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज ट्वेल्व अपॉन टेन दिस एज इट इज अपॉन टेन रिज टू पावर माइनस वन मीन्स वन अपॉन टेन एंड माइनस नाइन पॉइंट एट इंटू टेन रिज टू पावर माइनस टू मीन्स नाइन्टी एट अपॉन वन थाउजेंड नाउ अगेन सिंप्लीफाई दिस इन दिस वी नोटिस दैट टेन रिज टू पावर एट कॉमन दैट इज टेन रिज टू पावर एट कॉमन एंड वी हैव एट्टी वन माइनस वन दैट इज टेन रिज टू पावर एट इंटू एटी सो वी गेट एट्टी इंटू टेन रिज टू पावर एट प्लस ट्वेल्व इंटू टेन रिज टू पावर टेन एज इट इज Uh, here we use fraction result that is hundred minus ninety eight upon one thousand and whole power one upon three. Now, as we know that this can be written as two upon ten raised to power three. Uh, that is ten raised to power three upon two into and this whole term. This eighty can be written as eight into ten. That is eight into ten raised to power nine plus twelve into ten raised to power ten upon one upon three. Now this ten raised to power three as it is, and this two divide each term inside. That is four plus six, and in this term, common out ten raised to power nine. Uh, we get ten raised to power twelve into sixty four whole power one upon three. Now further ten raised to power twelve upon one upon three into sixty four power one upon three. Uh, we know that sixty four can be written as two into two into two into two, so on. That is sixty four can be written as two power six. Now uh, we know that if ten raised to power m power n, this can be written as ten raised to power m into n. Applying this result here, we get ten raised to power four into two power six upon one upon three. That is two power two. Uh, this ten raised to power four ten thousand into four, which is equals to uh, forty thousand. Now come to options. Option B, C, D, and E are incorrect, and option A is correct. Now come to question number fifty three of I met, and in this question, find the area enclosed by three lines. That is y is equals to zero, y is equals to two x minus four, and uh, last one y is equals to eleven minus x. And these are areas value. Now come to this question. We have three lines in which y is equals to zero means x axis. We know very well. And for y is equals to two x minus four, firstly we find two points such that we can draw this line easily. Uh, that is, for x is equals to zero, we get y is equals to minus four. And for x is equals to y is equals to zero, x is equals to two. That is, we get two point zero comma minus four and two comma zero. Zero comma minus four and two comma zero. With the help of this two point, we draw this red colored line. That is y is equals to two x minus four. Uh, similarly, for y is equals to eleven minus x, we find two stable point. Uh, x is equals to zero means y is equals to eleven, and uh, y is equals to zero means x is equals to eleven. That is, we get two point zero comma eleven and eleven comma zero. With the help of this two point, uh, we draw this blue colored line. That is y is equals to eleven minus x. Now, uh, in this uh, figure, we notice that uh, uh, this region, this region, and this region, and finally this region. These are infinite region. This implies that their areas are in infinite. But in this option, and we left only this region, which is triangle, and its area is finite. And in which uh, we have two vertex two comma zero and eleven comma zero, and this vertex p. Its value we have to find. That is, this point is intersection of uh, this y is equals to two x minus four and eleven minus x. 
now uh, from this graph it is clear that uh, y is equals to 11 minus x y is equals to 2x minus 4 intersect at a point p it means that uh, here we have to find a common solution of this two line and for solution that is y is equals to 2x minus 4 y is equals to 11 minus x we notice that uh, y is equals to this common this implies that 2x minus 4 is equals to 11 minus x this implies that uh, 3x is equals to 15 this implies that x is equals to 5 and put this x is equals to 5 in either of these two equation we get y is equals to 6 that is p is equals to 5 comma 6 is a common solution of this two line their intersection point is 5 comma 6 that is 5 comma 6 and this is triangle in which uh, we know that uh, area of a triangle is 1 upon 2 into base into height in which base is uh, this base its length is 9 and its height is this last coordinate 6 now we know that uh, if we find base and height of a triangle this implies that uh, area of a triangle is 1 upon 2 into base into height 1 upon 2 into 9 into 6 this implies that uh, uh, 27 uh, option B C D and E are incorrect and option A is correct Come to question number 55 of IMET and in this question uh, which of the following is in simplification of uh, this mathematical expression say this expression px and these are options actually for this question we use two methods to solve this question uh, first method is a short trick techniques and the second one is quadratic formula then firstly we use shortcut techniques that is if qx is a simplification of a px then q alpha is equals to p alpha for every alpha belongs to r now we consider in previous px is equals to uh, 2x square minus 9x minus 18 upon x square minus 6x minus 3x square plus 8x minus 3 upon x square plus 3x now for a check of simplicity uh, we put x is equals to alpha is equals to 2 uh, you can choose a other value also uh, but we consider here x is equals to 2 now this implies that p of 2 is equals to 2 into 4 minus 18 minus 18 upon 4 minus 12 minus 3 into 4 plus 16 plus 3 upon 4 plus 6 this implies that uh, minus 28 upon minus 8 minus 25 upon 10 this can be written as 28 upon 8 minus 25 upon 10 uh, this by 4 is 2 and 7 this by 5 2 and 5 that is 7 upon 2 minus 5 upon 2 uh, LCM 2 that is 7 minus 5 which is equals to 2 upon 2 this is 1 now come to options to choose that option uh, which give value 1 at x is equals to 2 now come to option a in option a at x is equals to 2 uh, 4 upon 2 minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 is equals to 1 which gives 1 at x is equals to 2 in other option that is 2 minus x minus 1 at x is equals to 2 2 upon 2 minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 0 not equals to 1 this implies that option b is incorrect now for uh, option c 2 minus 1 upon x at x is equals to 2 2 minus 1 upon 2 which is equals to 3 upon 2 not equals to 1 this implies that option c is incorrect now come to option d uh, 4 upon x minus 2 at x is equals to 2 4 upon 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 is equals to 0 not equals to 1 this implies option d is also incorrect now come to option e 4 minus x at x, x is equals to 2 that is 4 minus 2 is equals to 2 which not equals to 1 and this implies that uh, option e is incorrect and finally option a is correct now for this question we also use other technique that is using quadratic formula and uh, factorization here we notice that uh, x square minus 6x this can be written as x into x minus 6 because x is common in this term now x square plus 3x this can be written as x into x plus 3 and uh, 3x square plus 8x minus 3 this can be written as 3 into x minus alpha into x minus beta where x alpha and beta are root of this quadratic equation 
नाउ फ्रॉम कैटिक फॉर्मूला एल्फा इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस थ्री एंड बीटा इज इक्वल्स टू वन अपॉन थ्री दैट इज थ्री एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस एट एक्स माइनस थ्री कैन बी रिटर्न एज थ्री इन टू एक्स प्लस थ्री इन टू एक्स माइनस वन अपॉन थ्री सिमिलरली टू एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस नाइन एक्स माइनस एटीन दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू इन टू एक्स माइनस एल्फा इन टू एक्स माइनस बीटा वेयर एल्फा एंड बीटा रूट ऑफ दिस क्वालिटी इक्वेशन यूजिंग क्वालिटिक फॉर्मूला यूजिंग क्वालिटिक फॉर्मूला वी गेट एल्फा इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्स एंड बीटा इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस थ्री अपॉइंट टू दैट इज टू एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस नाइन एक्स माइनस एटीन कैन बी रिटर्न एज टू इन टू एक्स माइनस सिक्स इन टू एक्स प्लस थ्री अपॉइंट टू नाउ फ्रॉम गिवन क्वेश्चन वी हैव दिस एक्सप्रेशन एंड फॉर दिस एक्सप्रेशन वी जस्ट पुट देयर फैक्टर्स दैट इज फॉर टू एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस नाइन एक्स माइनस एटीन वी पुट टू इन टू एक्स माइनस सिक्स इन टू एक्स प्लस थ्री अपॉइंट टू एंड फॉर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स एक्स वी पुट एक्स इन टू एक्स माइनस सिक्स सिमिलरली फॉर थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एट एक्स माइनस थ्री वी पुट थ्री इन टू एक्स प्लस थ्री इन टू एक्स माइनस वन अपॉन थ्री एंड फॉर एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री एक्स वी पुट एक्स इन टू एक्स प्लस थ्री हेयर वी नोटिस दैट एक्स माइनस सिक्स एक्स माइनस सिक्स कट एंड एक्स प्लस थ्री कैंसिल विद दिस एक्स प्लस थ्री एंड वी लेफ्ट टू इन टू एक्स प्लस थ्री अपॉन टू अपॉन एक्स माइनस थ्री इन टू एक्स माइनस वन अपॉन थ्री अपॉन एक्स हेयर टू मल्टीप्लाई इन साइड दैट इज टू एक्स प्लस थ्री अपॉन एक्स माइनस दिस थ्री मल्टीप्लाई इन साइड दैट इज थ्री एक्स माइनस वन अपॉन एक्स दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट टू एक्स प्लस थ्री माइनस थ्री एक्स प्लस वन अपॉन एक्स दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट फोर माइनस एक्स अपॉन एक्स दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज फोर अपॉन एक्स माइनस वन दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट ऑप्शन बी सी डी एंड ई आर इन करेक्ट एंड ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन ऑफ फाइव मिनट एंड क्वेश्चन इज द मीन ऑफ फाइव नॉन जीरो पॉजिटिव इन टीचर्स इज ट्वेंटी एंड देयर मीडियन इज ट्वेंटी फोर एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वट इज द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल वैल्यू ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट नंबर एंड दर ऑप्शन फ्रॉम गिवन क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट लेट ए वन ए टू ए थ्री ए फोर एंड ए फाइव आर नॉन जीरो पॉजिटिव इन टीचर्स सच दैट देयर मीन इज ट्वेंटी दिस इम्प्लाइज दैट सम ऑफ दिस नंबर अपॉन फाइव इज इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी that is sum of this number is equals to 100 say this equation first uh, in this question median of this number is 24 uh, we know that for median uh, numbers must be arranged in either increasing order or decreasing order and now for a uh, sake of simplicity uh, we arrange the given data in increasing order and notice that a uh, number of uh, ai are 5 which is odd uh, we know that uh, median of uh, odd number of observations is equals to using this formula of second equation uh, here n is equals to 5 that is 5 plus 1 upon 2 that is the third term of second equation uh, in this uh, data first term second term and third term that is a3 is equals to median and uh, median in this question is 24 this implies that a3 is equals to 24 uh, the given data is arranged in in this format we here a1 less than is, is equals to 2 Less than is equals to twenty four, less than is equals to a four, and less than is equals to five. Uh, from given question statement, uh, largest number is a five because this is arranged in, in increasing order, and the largest number is a five. But in in this question, we have to find out the maximum possible value of a five. Uh, for given options, a five are seventy eight, seventy three, fifty, forty nine, forty eight. That is, these are option. Now uh, a five is equals to seventy eight, and uh, we have already a three is equals to twenty four as a median. This implies that uh, using first equation, a one plus a two plus a three plus a four plus a five is equals to hundred. That is a one plus a two plus a four, and uh, a five plus a three is equals to one hundred two. That is a one plus a two plus a three is equals to minus two. Which is wrong because we know that uh, all AI are positive, so their sum is also positive. But here minus two. This if uh, a five is equals to seventy three, and a three is equals to twenty four as a median already. This implies that from equation first, their sum is equals to hundred. Uh, putting value of a five and a three in this, we get a one plus a two plus a four is equals plus ninety three is equals to hundred. This implies that a one plus a two plus a four is equals to seven. we know that uh, all ai are positive and uh, we have this arrangement of number in which uh, a4 is greater than is, is equals to 
if this number is uh, greater than is equals to 24 and a i are positive this implies that a1 plus a2 plus a4 is strictly greater than 24 but here possibility is 7 which is wrong now if a5 is equals to 50 and a3 is equals to 24 as median already we have uh, this implies that from equation first their sum is equals to 100 that is a1 plus a2 plus a4 plus 74 their sum is equals to 100 that is a1 plus a2 plus a4 is equals to 26 where all ai are positive and uh, satisfy this arrangement uh, for simplicity we let a1 is equals to 1 a2 is equals to 1 and a4 is equals to 24 this implies that their sum is equals to 26 satisfy this and this uh, this implies that uh, our data of uh, 5 non zero positive integer is uh, 1 1 24 24 and 50 their mean is 20 and their median is 24 and a5 is equals to 50 which is maximum of 50 49 and 48 this implies that uh, option d and e are incorrect and out of abc 50 is maximum of 50 48 and 49 that is option a is correct 59 of i met and uh, in this diagram uh, shows two concentric circles both with center zero and the angle of a shaded sector is theta degree that is this and radius of a larger circle is 50 percent greater than radius of a smaller circle and area of a smaller circle is 36 pi and area of a shaded sector is 27 pi upon 8 that is this and in this question we have to find out the value of a theta and these are option option and course wording diagram uh, let uh, this r is radius of a smaller circle and this r is radius of a larger circle and their relation is capital r is equals to 50 percent greater than small r that is uh, we get this relation that is capital r is equals to 3 upon 2 into a small r and uh, in this question we have given that uh, area of a smaller circle is 36 pi and this implies that uh, uh, pi r square because area of a circle is pi r square equals to 36 pi this pi cancel with this pi and we get uh, r square is equals to 36 which can be written as 6 square uh, because radius is positive in nature this implies that uh, r is equals to 6 uh, because we have relation between this r and this r this implies that capital R is equals to 3 upon 2 into R 3 upon 2 into 6 this implies that capital R is equals to 9 now uh, now area of a larger circle is pi R square that is pi 9 square equals to 81 pi uh, in this question we have to find out the value of theta because uh, in this question area of a shaded sector is given that is hint for this question we know that uh, if we have to find the area of a shaded sector which is equals to theta 136 into area of capital r square now as a uh, area of a shaded sector is 27 upon 8 pi uh, this implies that theta 136 into pi r square is equals to 27 upon 8 pi pi r square is equals to 81 pi and this implies that theta 1316 to 81 pi is equals to 27 upon 8 pi this pi cancel with this pi uh, we get theta 1360 into 81 is equals to 27 upon 8 now this 27 cancel with this 3 we get uh, theta 1360 into 3 into is equals to 18 that is uh, theta upon 120 is equals to 18 theta is equals to 120 upon 8 which is equals to 15 degree now come to options uh, option b c d and e are incorrect and option a is correct